Welcome to Attican Plays Rise of Industry. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to part two of our uh, startup uh, playthrough on uh, Rise of Industry. And in part one, we built up a dough business. We're playing on startup level difficulty, which is, uh, don't let that name fool you, is the hardest preset difficulty. And so we have to really watch our, our everything we do because we're playing on tight margins, low prices, high upkeep costs. Uh, everything, is, everything is difficult. So um, in part one, we were able to set up a little, a modest little dough industry and ship that dough into Sun City and make a profit. And we have managed to stay afloat for three years plus uh, about a quarter. And we're in April of our fourth year now, and we're doing okay, but we've got uh, a lot of growth to do. We, what we really want to do is build ourselves up to the point where we can build a waffle industry down here. And, and when we can get to a tier three industry, then we're going to start actually making some money. Now, we were quite conservative in the way we played this. We didn't take risky contracts. We only took contracts we we really felt like uh, were things we absolutely could do. And that is exactly what we should do, I must say. But it does kind of make it a little bit slow, especially on the startup mode where everything's tight. Money's tight. Everything is tight for us. So <clears throat> we are going to uh, keep going. And let me just get this thing running because we have to be a little bit patient now. What we have to do is wait until we accumulate some cash. Cause, so options we have, you know, we we know we're making money on the dough in Sun City. We could ship dough to Buffalo Gap and make some money that way. We could also look into seeing if there's some other uh, tier two, you know, affordable thing we could get into in the diner world and make money. Like, for example, uh, I think would be bag of chips be considered a tier two let's see bag of chips is actually considered yeah a tier two business but it's going to cost us we'd need almost two million to um research that and plus 200 for the potatoes so we need two million dollars in research just to start that up and it pays a grand sixty four thousand a unit which is way less than the uh, dough. Now the good news of course it costs less to create it because you'll need less stuff. With a bag of chips we need uh, uh, three potato and two parchments. See, that's the other thing. We'd have to have wood and water and uh, a paper mill. We'd have to research the paper mill. I left that out. We'd have to go over here and, and we'd have to go over here to the uh, paper mill thing and research parchment. That's another 400000 so no, 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 that's just not, that's not going to cut it. We just need to stay laser focused on getting ourselves a waffle business. That's what we need to make money. So what we're going to do here is patiently wait, keep modestly growing our business, we hope, although you see we're struggling to make money. We lost money last month. See, our expenses are higher because now we're repaying our startup loan. So now the margin are even worse. So it's even harder on us to get the money that we need. So we really need a good contract to come along to help us out here. We've hit a critical juncture, really, in this startup mode play. There, good. At least we had a profitable month. That's a good thing. <laughs> Remember, as, as a review... On the, on the 15th and the 30th of each month, and every month has exactly 30 days in it, even February. On the 15th and the 30th, we sell. So we ship stuff to the ultimate seller, and it gets sold on the 15th and 30th. That's when we get paid. That's a little weird. That's not really realistic. We are a supplier. We would get the, in the real world, the diner would buy the stuff from us, and then it would be up to them to sell it for what they want. But the way this one does it is we get our money when the diner sells it. So that's kind of a good deal for the diner, I must say. But um, as you can see now, with that startup loan hitting us, we actually are not quite, we are not covering our monthly expenses with our first sale. We were before. Now we 
are able to make grapes, and uh, hold on here, this one might be worthwhile. We can make grapes. We, we Actually, this was a mistake that I made when I was uh, walk, walking through the tech tree and talking about um, uh, doing the berry pies for uh, Buffalo Gap. I actually left this clicked when I took the buffalo berry pies off and went for the dough. I inadvertently left that one um, clicked, so we ended up researching berries. So the game is looking and saying, hey, you can create berries. We would like berries in Sun City. Would it be worth starting a berry industry? They would pay us four sixty-eight. Then the question becomes, what would you do with them afterwards? Well, we could, you know, we couldn't do much with them. It's worthwhile, I don't think. Four sixty-eight. More influence would be nice, but no, we'll have to pass. We've got to be careful with these contracts. We just can't bite off more than we can chew, because the berries would need more water. You know, we'd have to water the berries. We have to build water for them. Then we'd have water we didn't need. Uh, no. Okay, flower to Viroquois. No, thank you. It's way off. We decline that. I can tell you, but this wheat is a possibility because the wheat. Let's see again if we have. Yeah, we've got a few wheat, so we've got nine wheat. That means that we could do. Let's see how does this work? Production. It takes three, so it could do three more production cycles. So we could do this one, the one it's doing, and three more. So four more. So we could cover about four more production cycles without having any more wheat coming over. So we've got a little wheat. So we could actually do this one. How much time do we have? Y5, July. We've got time. And they would pay us a half a million. Yeah, we'll take that. It's not awesome, but we'll take that. We can do that one. We can just have our crop farm here say, don't go to flower one. We want you to go to your contract, to the wholesaler there, and we'll start shipping off wheat to Reno. And as I said, we'll still have that plus three more cycles of flour. So we can do this plus three more cycles of dough. So we can make four more dough, which is four more cycles. That's eight more dough. Okay, okay, this looks good. Make a little extra money, get a little influence. The influence of Reno is not going to help us that much now. Can't hurt us later. Oh, and look at this. We actually got some good news for a change. We got uh, increased factory production, which is good and bad news. Uh, they're going to produce faster, but then they're going to run out of wheat faster, so <laughs> you can't win in these deals. Look at that. Ten. Oh, that would have been tempting, too, but we can't do both. Ten dough to Buffalo Gap. What would that mean? We can't do it because we've already committed to this one, but but it would be, uh, how long do we have for that? Uh, they're not even paying a terrific, 143% is a good price. It would be nice to get that influence in Buffalo Gap, but it's not that great a deal.
cannot afford that one. Because we need to get our main moneymaker engine back up online. We can't do that till we finish uh, this contract. Sun City, what are they giving us for it? Uh, a decent price. Could we afford nine? And how much time do we have? Uh, they're not giving us a ton of time. Mm, yeah. I'd like to have that one. I'd like to say, go back and say no to Reno and hang on until we got the one here. It's almost uh, becoming a little lesson learned here. Don't take the contracts unless they're with the city you're really trying to grow. Kind of keep your focus on the city you're doing. Because they do seem to just go in a circle. They just kind of cycle around different contracts to each city. And the one that goes to the city you're really close to, obviously it's easier to, to hit that one. And uh, you're trying to build your your influence there anyway. Oops. Because we want to get this up to 100 so we can get 5% on, on loans, which would be nice. I'd also like to see some more deliveries here. I'm not seeing anything going there. Let's go, fellas. It's also very hard. One little criticism is it's hard to tell. I wish there was a view that could show you, you know, kind of your stuff. Your, there, those, those two must have been our truck. So there's 12. Maybe these two are ours as well. That would be good. There's 14. Maybe those two couple right there would do a, would take care of getting this done. There we go. All right, we got that one done, and if you'll notice, our money's actually gone down a little bit, so that wasn't a great deal. That, that was a waste of time. They're, those things are so tempting, and they're not they're just not always so great. you got to wait for the right one. So now we need to immediately start sending our wheat back to our um, flour. The good news is we've got plenty, so go. And actually what happened there, I was waiting for the contract to to uh, fulfill. Once it had shipped enough, the way it does those contracts is it stopped shipping. So there's a point where I could have turned this back around and sent it over there. So if I'd watched it more carefully, I could have done a better job there. Uh, another lesson learned. And watch this, and once I knew that there were 16 out the door and headed, uh, no, I don't know if I would have been able to do that. Oh, boy. I think if I had turned off the destination of the contract, those, those trucks would have stopped, and we would have been dead in the water. Oh, well. I have to experiment with that, but look at our, our money is going down now instead of up because of that contract. Because we, we actually lost money taking that deal. We gained a little reputation, you know, influence over here in Reno, but that's not going to help us for, you know, maybe ever. We're up to 40 over here, which is nice, but again, I don't think it has any real value. So what if I know the mayor's second cousin? It's not helping me here. And that one where we could have shipped a dough to Sun City would have helped us because it would have given us a better price on the goods. Uh, 
Okay, I feel like we really are at a critical juncture here. Because of this additional, that little bit of money, that 42 grand from the repayment of our startup loan, we are starting to leak cash. And if we leak cash long enough, we're going to be dead. So we're going to have to do something to improve this situation. <sighs> See what we got in the way of credit. What can we do? We can get an 8% loan from Sun City. We can get a 17% loan from Reno. That's pretty nice. And if we want to, if we want a lot of money, we're going to have to go to Buffalo Gap and pay a very high percentage. It's interesting to see if we take this guy and run it out to 120 months. That's 118. 118,000 a month. So if we go back to this one, which is 8%, and run it out to... Oh, that's 15 million. Oh, we can get 15 million? Oh, good. Because we have higher influence, we can get a bigger loan. It's a bigger city, too. I think that has to do with it. For as much as 120, if we had 15 million, we could actually go well, well, well. We're going to take a 15 million dollar loan from Sun City. It's going to add 156, 156,000 to our monthly burden, but with that money, we are going to research. Gotta be careful of waffles. That's gonna be five million of that money. And in the meantime, we are going to get started on our waffle industry. But our current little business is not cutting it. It is leaking money. Uh, let's see, we need nine water, nine wheat, and two sugar. Oh, we may have to research that as well. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar. I can't tell if we have sugar or not. Oh, it's already on there. Okay. We're researching sugar. That's the only additional thing we need. We need sugar and we need, um, of course, the waffles. Okay, good. All right, now we'll get the sugar done. Now we're going to build our waffle industry, everything but the waffles, so uh, and get it going. And we've got to decide where we want to put it. And as I've said before, maybe you saw this in part one, we could just simply convert this to waffles, but it's already making a profit, kind of, sort of. So I'd like to just build a whole new business of waffles. So we need nine water. And we will use a warehouse for this because this is going to get more complex. So this will be an opportunity to show how a warehouse works. We're going to have too many destinations for all these things to be able to, uh, to do a push model. So we're going to use a pull model where things go out and grab what they need. So we need nine water. And we've got to watch. Remember, we can't terraform. We're not allowed to change the landscape. So we have to have the ability to get our nine. And actually, I think we can actually get one. There, only one. One, two. So we've got to be careful with where we place these. We've got to put this. There. We need two water siphons. And we need to make sure that they can get... Uh, Enough spots. Okay, so oh, and we've got.
got to do the research. We've got to expand our water siphons and our um, crop fields. So now we want to get our warehouse so both of those will be able to feed. Okay, that should work great. I have this thing from playing Industry Giant 2 long ago that I just have to circle my warehouses. I, I don't ask me why. Okay, now we've got a connection to the city. We can make our easy deliveries. So we'll put three wheat in and then we'll, after the expansion works, we'll get the other three. I think we can put them... Let's put five on this one. One, two, three. Now we'll expand it in a minute. <laughs> kind of muttering to myself, sorry. So this will be, one of these will be five, the other will be four. These two will be five each, I think. No, yeah, five and four. And then we need two sugar cane, which should be easy to fit. Uh, put it right here. So let's get that started before we build our factories. And something's wrong here. Oh, and notice this right here. This is irritating, but you have to really overlap these roads. See how we've got, it really comes almost to a screeching halt. So it's telling us we've got a connection problem, that red error. And it's this little thing right there. That's why we have a connection problem. See, there it goes away.
And now we've got offer to deliver sugar to Sun City. And I actually think we can take that. Because we just put in a sugar field. They want 22 and they want them in... Uh, Oh, we've got plenty of time. We're going to take that. And we're just going to tell the sugar plantation to deliver. Instead of automatic, we want you to... There. If it was a sugar plantation. <laughs> now we're committing, making sugar. Now we're going to send our sugar to our contract. It by default went to berries. So what's going to happen with this warehouse is all the water is going to the warehouse. The farms will go to the warehouse and grab what it needs. And in the case of and everything else will put their, if these two farms will deliver back to the warehouse. This, this plantation now that we have it set will actually deliver to the uh, uh, wholesaler to, for our contract. Now we're getting all our expansions done, uh, and we have dough as well, so we can start uh, thinking about the whole business. So we want to do a five and a four. Let's make this one into a, well, first of all, let's see how easy it is to make this one into a five. Okay, we'll make this one a four. And we'll expand this one two more. And we need that one to be a four, I believe. Yep, we'll make this one into a four. of course made it into a five which I don't need to do okay so we've got we've got our nine wheat we've got our two sugar although it's doing a contract we've got our nine water and we can do our flour once we see some wheat starts showing up in this warehouse. So let's wait on that. When we start seeing some wheat showing up in the warehouse, then we will put in the flour. There's a little bit. Okay, stop please. Now we'll put in our flour. Okay, now we have flour going. And once we start seeing some flour in here, we will put in our um, dough 
And these hills are actually a problem because they're starting to force us to get awfully close to the city here. You see the expenses, all these expenses are eating up our money, which makes perfect sense. All right, now we're ready for dough. And you'll notice we're actually out of money. We need this sugar to finish. Okay, our good relationship with Reno is going to have to be put into use here. Oh my goodness. We'll borrow $5 million from them to give us enough money to finish off our work and keep play, paying the bills. And we're getting awfully close here. And we'll hold off on replacing that um, waffle factory until we have a, until these guys light up. It shouldn't take long. love to get a ship wheat somewhere because we've got an excess in wheat what we can do with it if if nothing else is see if there's a place we can sell it okay go go off and sell this stuff and we finish our contract now as soon as we see some dough coming in to our warehouse we'll we will fire up Oh, and our sugar, we need to make sure 
it was on manual we're going to put it back on automatic so it'll go into the warehouse We've got some dough, so it's time for waffles. And our waffles can deliver directly to the diner. So now we have a full-blown, and notice this, this is going to be a very efficient waffle business hopefully not too close don't want to mess up our right well we've got a hundred that's as good as it can get hopefully we won't see deterioration and we're still shipping in dough and waffles so we should be good and once the waffles start hitting we will start seeing some money there we're starting to see a profit there's a one point hard to read 1.67 million dollar sale Point five two million. Now we're starting to see some money. So now that we've got a tier three business, we can actually make a profit, and we're even covering our rather large loans. So what we'll want to do here, obviously, first of all, the one thing we'd love to have is another full. We'd have to love to have another one of these, a full set of waffle making, uh, <laughs> little waffle uh, setup, because the one for 15 days is what the diner wants, but we need two watt full waffle setups in order to match that. We're only hitting half of it with this waffle and we're only hitting half of our dough with this. So when we get some more money, we could, and since we've got abundance of wheat, we could expand our water here and bump up our, our uh, dough and flour and, and send more dough into Sun City and make a little money that way. That would be an easy thing to do. So let's get up to about three million and we'll do that. Let's see, look at this one. We don't have a sale. We've, we've got a million dollars in expenses each month now because of all of this. But you can see we actually make a profit in spite of that. And if we could get to two waffles, then we really would be making money. Grapes to Sun City. Again, no, I don't want to do that. I know I don't want to do that. Unless they're going to give us something ridiculous for it. They're not, and we're already at 100. We're staying at 100, so we're not too close, so we're looking good. And the way these cities will grow, they'll grow toward us, but they won't get too close if they have a different direction they can go. So this city will tend to grow out It'll grow out here a little bit, out here a little bit, but it'll tend to creep up this way and out here and out here. So we should be good as far as um, our influence. We're going to be 100 here, which is great, which means once we get out from under the debt we already have with them, we'll have, you know, they're a good source of credit for us, obviously a good source of profit, 
see we're already up to four and a half million dollars so this is now things are accelerating when you get to the tier three that's when you can do things and when we do this again we're going to, i'm going to go back and play on normal and you can see how you can get to tier three much faster on normal and everything just takes off so you see a lot more activity on normal mode than you do on a on a startup mode because it's just so much tougher to make money uh on on the startup mode or startup difficulty level i should be saying but look how efficient this is we're staying green all over the place and the warehouse really helps with that because the warehouse it runs up our costs again because as i said in part one we're now paying to take like this sugar um, we're paying to ship the sugar over to the warehouse and we're paying for the uh, waffle factory to go get the sugar from the warehouse so we're paying for it twice in fact we can fix that one that one's easy to fix we can say you know what don't go to the warehouse why don't you go straight to our waffle factory and that way we can cut down our costs and we could do the same thing with this with these dough with the dough we can say okay dough we want you to go to the waffle factory and then we can copy and paste we'll copy and paste 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 and now all these doughs are shipping directly to the waffles. That that will be more efficient and save us some money. Then the other thing we can do is we can have the flour go, you know, sign, line them up one to one flour to the um, dough. Now what I don't want to do is the water because I don't think the water because we've got four factories here the water. You just don't have, I'd have to do some more research to get more destinations here. I think we've got we've got the warehouse already built, so let's run the water through the warehouse. And the wheat, we could even do the wheat to the flour. Hmm. hmm. I think we'll stop right there. That's good enough for now. We could run the obviously the flour one-on-one -on -one to each of the uh, dough we could run the um, yeah yeah gosh if you can save money why wouldn't you we'll take uh, let's see we'll go six to ten Okay, then we'll go 5 to 11. And we'll do 4 to 13. And we'll do three to twelve. And I just saw some hold on here, stop. Twenty-eight flower to Sun City. They'll pay us a good price for it. Let's accept that. Let's ship this flower. To here. And by the way, all that work I did to do all that manual. One of the reasons you wouldn't necessarily do that and keep it going through the warehouse is to make it easy to fulfill contracts by, uh, you know, just turning them all to manual and having them go to a contract and then shipping them back to automatic and they'll um, just go right back to the warehouse. So 
that's a tough call there. It depends on how hard you want to work, I guess. And what I'm saying is that we do save some money by doing this direct shipments from like flour to flour to dough and, and dough to the waffles. We save one of the sides of the of the shipments. But if if I wanted to fulfill this flour with all these, and in fact I'm going to, I'm, go, I'm going to tell all these guys I want to get this contract done. So I'm going to we're going to get this contract over and done with and then ship turn them back. Okay, bad maintenance mean our roads are going to be slower and dispatch costs are higher. We can live with that, I think. Notice we're up to nine million now. And I can't wait. I, 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 certainly, this is going to come, but we need the game really needs better financial reporting. We need more than just this to tell us what's going on. We need, uh, you know, kind of a, I don't know, a profit and loss sheet or an income sheet or a balance sheet or, you know, whatever. Okay, now we got our contract done. That's good. That's out of the way. We can tell this guy to go back and do what he used to do, which is Food Factory 2. And I'm just going to convert all these guys back to automatic. Use copy paste to convert them all back to automatic. It's just so much easier. Okay. Notice how our dough shut down. That's because we turned off all of our uh, flour routing to... Um, get that contract done but we had a nice a profitable month we're having another profitable month well we had a big profit there because we got a 2.74 million dollar contract that was nice so we're already up to 12 so now we could we could do more waffles couldn't we Yes, we could. Or we could go make a berry business up in uh, Buffalo Gap. That would be nice. What would we rather do? We're going to have to research berries. That's going to cost us money. So let's do another waffle bit. All right, let's stop right here. And we'll come back in the next episode and expand our waffle business. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. And I hope you'll join us for our next Rise of Industry video. Thank you.